Praise be Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus said, the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Blessed Alexandrina da Costa is the Portuguese mystic who died in 1955. She was beatified by St. John Paul II in 2004. It says, during the last 13 years of her life, she ate and drank nothing except daily communion. And this was medically verified. Now, we might ask, like, why don't we tell people about this? Like, why don't Catholic leaders proclaim these, these wonders, these confirmations of the Catholic faith, the truths of Catholicism? Well, one reason we don't talk much about these things is there's just so many wonderful things in Catholicism. It's hard to keep track of them all. The Lord gives so many signs that we may believe. But a second reason, I think that some teachers in the Catholic Church don't like to talk about things like this is because some of our leaders, some of our teachers are compromised. They're corrupted. They don't want to embrace the truths of the Catholic faith, especially in the area of Catholic morality. There are those who want to embrace the spirit of the age. We see this tragically in some of our Catholic schools. Some of our Catholic schools are rejecting biblical morality and the, the natural law. And they're trying to embrace and celebrate and teach compromised morality, the spirit of the age. And if you're rejecting biblical truth, if you're rejecting natural law, you have to avoid tr truths like this. You have to avoid the signs that the Lord gives us that scream to us the truths of our Catholic faith. A lot of these compromised teachers, they don't like Saint Padre Pio because Saint Padre Pio represented the truths of the Catholic faith. And if a person is compromised, they're looking for the kind of the latest theologian who has the latest ideas, the latest compromise, kind of ways of twisting the scriptures and, and the tradition to introduce false doctrine. And so we need to proclaim the truths of the gospel. And we need to proclaim the wonderful signs that the Lord gives us so we can see that the Catholic faith is true. So that we can have that clarity that Jesus promises us. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Viva Cristore. Thank you.